हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न ड्यूल स्टार्टर कंट्रोल वायरिंग कनेक्शन एंड मोटर स्टॉप स्टार्ट एंड ट्रिप इंडिकेटर कनेक्शन एज वी नो ड्यूल स्टार्टर इज नॉर्मली यूज टू रन लेस देन फाइव एच पी मोटर एंड इंडिकेटर यूज टू इंडिकेट इफ ए स्टॉप इंडिकेटर ग्लो देन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड अवर मोटर इन स्टॉप कंडीशन स्टार्ट इंडिकेटर ग्लो देन अंडरस्टैंड अवर मोटर इन स्टार्ट कंडीशन एंड इफ ट्रिप इंडिकेटर ग्लो वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड अवर मोटर इन ट्रिप कंडीशन सो लेट स्टार्ट and understand step by step first we understand control wiring of dual starter so let's start control wiring but before starting control wiring we just understand which component is required for this control wiring so need one uh, two pole mcb for control mcb one magnetic contactor and one overload relay one stop push button start push button and three indicator so let's start control wiring first we give phase in control mcb and then neutral in control mcb first understand control wiring of neutral after it is start phase wiring we uh, as we know we need to give neutral uh, in contactor because contactor is 220 volt and uh, uh, 3 lr contactor are 220 volt so need to give neutral so first give neutral to magnetic contactor then give neutral to stop uh, indicator then start indicator and trip indicator we connect uh, all neutral wiring in just uh, contactor and three push three and three indicators now let's start uh, power control wiring of phase step by step first we connect phase wire in control mcb then give overload relay because as we know we normally start control wiring from overload relay when our motor is overloaded this overload relay trip and our starter stop now connect output of nc of overload relay now give supply in uh, nc push button input then connect uh, no output input okay nc output goes to no input now when we press no push button our motor uh, supply comes here and operate contactor now when we press start push button our magnetic contactor operate because neutral give direct and phase come through push button but in this condition our contactor operate at that time when we press push button if we stop pressing then is contactor stop so for this permanent operating we need to give holding supply in normal condition how we give holding supply so one wire connect from coil to no terminal then direct supply gives to the no terminal okay now we connect one wire to no terminal for holding supply we are now going just a holding supply now we can give holding supply from nc output or no input now we connect one wire here and give no terminal okay how it's work let's understand when we press start push button our magnetic contactor operate magnetic contactor operate supply comes no terminal and we give holding supply here when contactor operate this no supply holding supply comes here and our magnetic contactor operate permanently it is just a dual starter control wiring now understand how to do how to operate all three indicator and uh, for uh, operating indicator we need extra uh, add on block because we need one no terminal and one nc terminal but in this contactor we have only one nc terminal so we connect add on block because we need one no terminal and one nc terminal so we connect add on block in add on block it is a no terminal and it is a no terminal nc terminal and nc terminal that means it has Two NC and two NO components, and uh, for uh, for indicator wiring we need one NC and one NO terminal. So first connect uh, NO supply, holding supply we give NC terminal and one NO terminal because we can connect any of the supply. Just a holding supply you can also take supply from NC output, NO input, or overload relay. We can take supply from anywhere, but uh, we have already supply in holding supply here. so we connect the looping from one nc and one no first understand stop indicator wiring so detector in stop condition nc supply comes here directly so we connect to one looping here nc terminal and gives to stop indicator okay how it works let's understand holding supply comes continue when contactor in stop condition nc supply comes directly and operate a stop indicator when our starter stop is stop indicator glow now for start indicator wiring we connect uh, one looping from in no terminal so one output of no terminal when magnetic contactor operate this no terminal makes nc 
एंड वी ऑपरेट स्टार्ट पुज बटन दैट मीन्स वेन कॉन्ट्रेक्टर ऑपरेट दिन एनो एनो मेक्स एन सी एन स्टार्ट इंडिकेटर ग्लो नाव अंडरस्टैंड ट्रिप इंडिकेटर वायरिंग फॉर ट्रिप इंडिकेटर वी यूज ओवरलोड रिले एनो टर्मिनल ओके वेन अवर मोटर इज ओवरलोडेड एंड ट्रिप देन धिस एनो मेक्स एन सी ओके इट इट विल नॉट मेक एन सी वेन वी प्रेस दिस पोज बटन इट ओनली मेक्स वेन मोटर इज ट्रिप सो वी कनेक्ट वन लुपिंग हियर एंड गिव्स टू द ओवरलोड रिले एनो टर्मिनल एंड आउटपुट ऑफ एनो गिव टू द ट्रिप इंडिकेटर सप्लाई ओके वेन अवर मोटर इज ओवरलोडेड दिस एनो मेक्स एन सी एंड अवर ट्रिप इंडिकेटर ग्लोज सो इट इज द सिंपल वायरिंग ऑफ स्टार्ट स्टॉप इंडिकेटर एंड ड्यूल स्टार्टर control wiring so i hope you understand this control wiring if you have any doubt please ask in comments box but if you like this video please press like button for today's enough we'll meet in next video